Mind if I join you? Be our guest. How you feeling about the mission, Aiden? Um, trying not to think about it, to be honest. Yeah, it's better that way. So, what are you looking forward to after this is over? My wife, Marsha. Our child is due any day now. I'm over the moon. And we've been trying for a long time to have a kid. And it seems finally I did something right. See? I told you somebody needs to come over and give you some help. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice boots you got there. Oh, thanks, man. I got them at the bazaar. Real cheap, too. Oh, no, did you have to? Now he won't shut up about them. Yeah, he traded his official PK knife for them. And when Roe found out, I had to clean the latrines for a week. But it was worth it, no? Now, I have my eye on a nice jacket at the same place. Just can't afford it at the moment. But this mission will earn me some extra, so I can buy it soon. Will you shut up already? We don't care about your wardrobe. You're just jealous, because you look like ass and I get all the pussy. All your mothers, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> a brochure is a hard ass. Of course he is. You know his story, right? You've seen the burns on his face and neck. I was there when he barged into a burning dark zone just to pull out one private. Yeah, the guy can be harsh, but... Not a lot of people will lay it on the line like he has. Damn right. Can you tell me anything else about Ro? When he and Matt had a major falling out? Yeah, it was hell. Squad 101 had orders to take over the old city warehouse. Thought it was empty until they went inside. They turned on their flashlights and looked up. The ceiling was weird, covered with clumps of rags. And then... The rags jumped down. They were a fucking scary breed of infected clinging to the roofs and walls. Hundreds of them. God, you could hear the boys screams for miles. Fuck. Imagine that. They radioed command, but the orders were to hold the position. They didn't. They ran away. At least those who could. Afterwards, Jack ordered their executions. They were deserters. But Roe defied Jack. Said that sending them there was a mistake in the first place. We thought Jack would have Roe shot for insubordination. Sure did. Okay. Time to get some shut eye. Just a moment, gents. Special treat for the night. Well, you rock, Lieutenant. Here's to our fallen comrades. To the fallen. And pretty ladies. Why do you want to exclude your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Hang it in there, guys. We are, Lieutenant. We've been through worse, right? Remember the volatiles in the old port? Well, that was a carnage. It was, and we pulled through. We'll have another good story to tell our families. Am I right? You are, sir. Something's bothering me, Aiden. The renegades. And what about them? They're everywhere. Spreading in the city like cockroaches. But here, the biggest antenna in the city, strategic place, and no renegades at all. Ah, it's not like anything else they're doing makes sense. Good point. First, someone turned on the electricity. No idea why. And then, when I questioned the renegade officer, he babbled something about GRE facilities they're trying to locate. Didn't make much sense if you ask me. X-13 or something like that. But I'm worried what they're planning. X-13? I've, I've heard about that place before. Oh, yeah? What did you hear? I know that Waltz is hunting for it as well. Any idea where it could be? Well, if it's real, it could be a GRE complex. Top secret. Well hidden. But once we're done with this motherfucker, maybe we figure out what it is and find it first. But for now, get some beauty sleep. 
Infected like us more when we're rested. That was a nice tune you played. Let's hear some more. Yo, Sleeping Beauty! Aiden! The head honcho is here, let's roll! Your map brought the transmitter? Safe in my pocket, boy. You expect us all to fade in here? A little snug, ain't it? Whose fingers? Aiden, you're doing great so far. Yeah, we're trying, right, Ro? I've got good news for you. I've received intel on a certain GRE doctor. Who is it? Where? I still need time. Let's finish our job here first. You and the squad will go to the top of the tower and mount the transmitter. Ro will be with me down below. I'm going too. Ro. This again? Really? We have a plan. Fuck the plan. We don't know what's up there. I'm not sending my men up there alone. Fuck the plan? Not losing my squad again. You know I have to go. <sighs> Just fucking come back. Understood? Yes, sir. If you need anything, you can reach me over the radio. <sighs> I'm fine. Get to work. Sir, you all right? Go already. want to hear a joke? No, where's Bowski? Fuck, please. I'm begging you. I'll give you my last clean pair of undies if you spare us another one of your jokes. Keep calm, gentlemen. Oh. Where's Bowski? Fuck. Sorry, boss. Won't say it, Pete. You're off key, dumbass. It went like this. Whoa. Commander, sir, what's going on? Elevator stopped. The power's unstable again. It's a huge building. We're on it. All right, boys. The repairs will take some time. We can't wait. It's footwork from here. What floor are you on? 30. So you got another 50 to the roof. Right, boys. You heard the commander. Open her up. Let's get hiking. Where's Bowski? Recon. Careful, Wisbowski. Looks clear.
Spassky. God damn it. Jack. God, Jack, are you there? There's... There's been an attack. Only I made it. Fuck. No, Endro? I, I don't know. I, I don't see him. Pull through, Ro. Just hang in there. Oh, well, I will. The transmitter? Matt said you have it. I do. You can't lose it, Aiden. You can't. Here. The transmitter. Aiden. Don't you... I guess you should wait for that potato metal I promised you. What? You withdrawing my commendation, Lieutenant? Oh, shut up. It's just... Ah, our dog tags. Don't let my boys be forgotten. If you see a fallen man, please take his tag. <sighs> they deserve it, son. Trouble. The PKs are all dead. I warned you. If you get yourself killed, I swear I'll come in there and find a way to bring your lifeless corpse back to life just so I can kill you myself. Spare me the lecture, okay? Just come down from there already. I'm not coming down. I need to get higher. I'm gonna find a way up. Fine. I'll wait. <laughs> Frank. Yeah. <laughs> 
here. At least what's left of him. Aiden, where are you? The 30th floor. The infected. They, they blew up. Fuck it. I told you. Frank? Wait! Where are you going? He's as good as dead, Luan. I'm sorry. This is where I lost all my night runners. I'm not going through that again. He's not dead yet. He's there and he needs you. He needs a coffee. That's what he needs. Frank, you smelly old alcoholic cunt. Why don't you fucking get a grip on yourself and step up for once? <laughs> Yeah, Frank, I think I found it. What's it for? It's a grappling hook. A rope launcher. So what? We'll help you climb. Aim it at something it can attach to. And shoot. Try to use it to get onto the terrace. Let me know once you've done it. Okay. I think I'm getting the hang of it, Frank. Sure you are. It's simple. But it can save your ass. Where to now? Where you were headed, Aiden. Upstairs. You have to go up one level. From there, you're gonna go to the side wing. Where to the side wing? The main wing is full of infected. Go. You have several floors to climb. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm on a terrace. Cool. You see my canteen? Yeah, you bet. Looks really tiny from here. Cool. Now open your paraglider, jump, and fly to the fisheye. See you there. <laughs> what? Time to end this madness, Aiden. You have a paraglider. Get out of there while you still can. Frank, I need to go up. You said you'd help me. Better trained men than you have died there, Aiden. I won't lead you to your death. Frank, I'm going up. With or without you. Are you too drunk to realize that? Juan told me about your sister. She must be dead by now. But you're alive. And if you come down, you'll stay alive. Fuck you, Frank. We're done here. I'm going up. You what? No, no way, Luan. Luan? Come <laughs> on. 
power to most of the building, but the elevators are still a problem. How does it look your end? I'm on the top of the second tower, and wondering how the hell I get back to the main building. Wait, before the fall, they were rebuilding that wing. There should be a crane there or something, you see it? That's an idea. All right, thanks.
Hanging, jumping, and climbing, whatever it takes. It will be worth it, Aiden. Communication is everything.
What were you after, uh, on, on your mission? Radio New Hope. Imagine. Messages of peace and unity. Bringing people together. Giving them... hope. Yeah, well... I was a hopeless romantic in my younger days. What can I say? <laughs>
Ravens Manor. Yeah? How? The army used to control that tower. I have a transmitter here that can tap into their signal and take over their Ooh. broadcast. So all we'd have to do is activate the sector antenna. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm at the transmitter. What's next? Good. Good. Now throw the switch, and that's it. It worked! Great. And listen. I've been thinking. Radio New Hope is still an option. But it's your choice. When I turn on the transmitter, Matt will tell me about the GRE doctor. I need to know where my sister is, and what Waltz did to us. Sometimes our choices are bigger than ourselves. Sometimes the things we do, they matter. I'm not gonna try to convince you. You got the transmitter working. It's your call. Frank, what kind of music did you used to listen to? I'm wondering what kind of music you'd play on your radio station. Uh, don't tell me it'll just be you talking all the time. If so, I'm changing my mind. You motherfucker, I can't believe it. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you so, so much. You have no idea. Any kind of music, anything you want. Aiden, something's gone wrong. We can't detect the transmitter signal. The people need this antenna more than you do. What? Aiden? What have you done? You'll hear soon enough. And let's hope Frank's still got it. Frank! You had the control of this antenna to that washed up drunk! I can't believe it. I'll take it back. I promise. Yeah, good luck climbing the building yourself. Aiden. And I thought we were becoming friends. Uh, sorry, Jack. I made my choice. See you too. Ugh. Don't ever fucking do that again. Hey, wh where did that come from? You owe me one. Soles of my sneakers nearly tore off trying to get to you. I'm, um, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. I thought I'd be scraping your guts off the fucking pavement, and you're sorry. Lon, I don't believe it. You were actually worried. Like I said, you owe me. My sneakers are ruined. I can literally feel the concrete scraping my feet. We need to get me a new pair. Well, they don't look that bad to me. You sure we don't have more important stuff to do? If it was their looks I was worried about, I would have trashed them ages ago. I risked a trickier route to get to your sorry ass faster, but the wind blew me into a broken banner. The fucking spikes were nastier than they looked. They were my last pair of intact shoes, Aiden, my soulmates in this dirty revenge-seeking business. Without them, I'm... Look. So, let's go. You want to go shopping for new sneakers, now? Is this some kind of joke, or...? Do I look like I'm joking? Luan, uh, you said... Ah, uh, oh, shit. Luan, it's not a sign of weakness to say you were worried. <laughs> Can you at least tell me where we're going? There aren't a lot of shoe stores open in the area, I bet. There's a place. Some of my old stuff might still be there. I thought all your stuff was at the fisheye. But I guess that's not where we're going. Just shut up and follow me.
So, is Frank happy I gave him control of the tower? I didn't have a chance to talk to him yet. I hope it was worth it. Because you lost your chance to find Mia? <sighs> yeah. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. Now, let's just get my sneakers back. <clears throat> back? Were they stolen? The one? If you knew where your things were, why haven't you gone back to get them before now? See that opening? Apartment 216. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. That's where I stored my shoes. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Go inside, take the shoes, and leave. And don't touch anything else. Got it? Hey, look, you got me suspicious, Luan. What's going on? Just go get him, would you? You climbed the fucking TV station tower. You can climb into an apartment. It depends on what's in there. I'm fine, chicken. Inside. Don't touch anything. Just get those shoes. What's in here that's got you so spooked? place a guy's boots did you find them yet I'm sorry I don't see a red box anywhere you dope you're not looking hard enough there's another room behind the plywood Luan <laughs> you look almost almost happy
Pretty cozy nest. You shared it with someone. Do you still live here, or...? Nobody lives there. Just find the fucking shoes and stop asking dumb questions. Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fisheye? Because that den is my home. I took all I needed with me. Except for the shoes, that is. fortune in these bottles. Looks like they uh, spend a lot of time here. your shoes. Great. Now get the fuck out of there. Oh, but it's quite the love nest with the wine and the view and the music. I mean, I'm starting to see a whole new Luan here. And you know what? I don't blame this guy, whoever he was, for liking her. Fuck you, Aiden. I, I didn't... Luan, wait. What? Hakon. Oh, you bastard. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. Oh, shit, Luan! there? Come on. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Just meet me on my rooftop. Get there and wait for me. You can give me the shoes and then fuck off. Who figures you'd end up at the place you go when you're pissed off? Someone hurt you? My son. I gave my whole life to him, and in my golden years, how does he repay me? By making life hell. In my own home. I couldn't take it anymore. So I left. Where will you go? Oh, I heard about an abandoned container nearby. It used to belong to the peacekeepers, but now it's empty. Well, it was empty. When I went to see it, infected were all over the place. I would say I'd get rid of the infected for you. But you do that. I'll pay you. Sure thing. Where can I find you afterwards? I'll go to the canteen. But any place is better than my hellhole of a home and my demon son. How can a son do this to his mother? Uh. 
Crow or something. Container is safe. Mom, come home. I'm so worried about you. Is that stray you took in still there? Please don't talk like that about my future wife. Her name is Sylvia. You've known her for a week and you're calling her your wife? What do you even know about her? I love her. More than your own mother? I must have been a terrible mother. You see? This nice young man promised to get me a container where I can live out my days alone. But, Mom! Quiet! Now, how did it go, my hero? Well, you can move in. Here? 
is your well-earned payment. I could have left it to my son, but he deserves nothing. Please, talk some sense into her, because I don't have the strength anymore. The children have to go their own way someday. Did you hear, Mom? If you want to leave because of Sylvia, then I won't be stopping you. Cool. And you had such a kind look in your eyes. Will she be all right? I'll look after her somehow. After all, she's my mother. Thanks for helping her. Yeah, don't mention it. Good luck on your new path in life. <laughs>